Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, in whichever time you're watching this. Welcome to SSC and welcome to SSC Presents Current Affairs Quiz Show, in which we shall discuss 30 important MCQs covering the current affairs of third week of September 2022. So let us proceed. We have total of 30 MCQs, and in the end of each MCQ, you will be getting a 10 seconds timer during which you need to write the correct answer in the chat box if you're watching the premiere and in the comment box if you're watching the recorded session. So do participate in the quiz and check your scores at the end that how much do you score out of 30. So write your answers in the comment box and the chat box. So let's proceed with the first question. The first question is Komedin Raju Srivastava passed away recently and the question is he was the chairman of Film Board Development Council of which state. The options are on the screen and the time begins now. Raju Srivastava who passed away recently the comedian was the chairman of Film Board Development Council of which state? Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar or Uttarakhand? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Uttar Pradesh. Yes, Raju Srivastava was a brilliant comedian who passed away recently. He was popularly known as Gajodhar Bhaiya and uh, uh, sadly he has left this planet and he passed away at the age of 58 and he was the chairman of the Uttar Pradesh Film Development Council. So with this sad news in the very beginning, let us proceed to the second question. The second question, which country has beaten Nepal with 4-0 to win the South Asian Football Federation, which is SAFF, men's and the 17th championship title? Bangladesh, China, Maldives or India, your time begins now. At men's and the 17th SAFF championship title, which country has beaten Nepal to win it? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is India. Yes, India, our own country, have won this under-17 championship title of South Asian Football Federation men's. Okay, and it has beaten Nepal with 4-0 in the finals. So this was it. The more details in the PDF. Let us proceed to the third question. The next question: Which world-class tennis player announced her retirement from the professional? Tennis, a pretty easy question, and the options are on the screen. And the time begins now. Is it Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, or Iga Swiatek? Retirement from professional tennis, international player. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Roger Federer. Yes, Roger Federer, who is a world-class tennis player from Switzerland, have announced his retirement from the professional tennis. All other players or the uh, names on the option are also tennis player uh, Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal and Iga Swiatek. Okay, so the correct answer to this question is Roger Federer. So this is it. Now let us proceed to the next question. The next question is, what is the theme of World Ozone Day 2022? So the options are on the screen and your time begins now. The theme of World Ozone Day 2022. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Montreal Protocol at 35. The full uh, theme is Montreal Protocol at 35 global cooperation uh, protecting life on earth and it is the theme of 2022 international uh, day for preservation of ozone layer also known as world ozone day so in the next uh, section we will be seeing some important dates which can be important from examination point of view so let us proceed important dates You'll get all this in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question. Which wild animal was brought to India after 70 years after it was declared extinct in India in 1952? Is it leopard? Is it cheetah? Is it tiger? Or is it kangaroo? Your time begins now. The wild animal which was declared extinct in India in 1952 brought to India after 70 years. Leopard, cheetah, tiger or kangaroo. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is 
cheetah is recently eight african cheetahs uh, have been uh, moved from namibia in south africa to uh, india that is in kuno national park which is in madhya pradesh okay so more details on the pdf how to get the pdf of this session uh, it's uh, quite easy you need to follow a few simple steps just click on the link in the description box you will get a link and when you click on that link you will get a payment page as you can see on the right side of the screen and then uh, in that payment page you need to pay rupees 30 via any payment method and after the payment wait for the pdf in the google drive link to open automatically and during that process do not press the back button and save the pdf in your device else the pdf will be lost so in this way you can get the pdf of this session and how to get the pdf of all sessions you will get it in rupees 400 and for that you will need to message to the whatsapp number as shown in the screen what do you get in uh, 400 you can see on the screen i will also discuss this in the end of this video so let us proceed to the next question the next question who has been re-elected as the president of angola the options are on the screen and time begins now president of angola hamza abdi bad Gustavo Pedro, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. or Jao Lorenzo, President of Angola. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Zhao Lorenko, the fourth option. Uh, he has been re-elected as the President of Angola. Okay, so this is it. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question is, what is India's rank in Global Crypto Adaption Index? Okay, Global Crypto Adaption, Adaption Index. What is India's rank? Is it first, second, third, or fourth? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is fourth. Okay, so uh, India has ranked fourth in Global Crypto Adoption Index. More details on the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question is which city's zoo has been adjudged the best zoo in the country? Is it Kolkata's? It, is it Darjeeling's? Is it Gangtok's? Or is it Guwahati? Best zoo in the country. Your time has already begun. Please write your answers. Kolkata, Darjeeling, Gangtok or Guwahati. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Darjeeling. Yes, the zoo uh, in Darjeeling which is Padmaja Naidu Himalayan Zoological Park in uh, West Bengal Darjeeling. It has been adjudged the best zoo in the country. Okay, and Kolkata's Alipur Zoological Garden has secured fourth position. More details in the PDF as well on the screen. So let us proceed to the next question. The next question is who has become India's 76th chess grand master the options are on the screen and your time begins now india's 76th chess grand master rahul srivastava nihal sarin pranavanand or v pranav the time is over the correct answer to this question is uh, pranav anand which is option number c okay he is the 76th grand master and he is from karnataka bengaluru okay karnataka bengaluru pranav anand is india's 76th grand master uh, let us see some uh, name of uh, recent grand masters 71st grand master was sankalp gupta 72nd was metribha guha 73rd was bharat subramanian 74th was rahul shivastav and 75th was v pranav and 76th was pranav anand so both pranavs okay 75th also v pranav and 76th pranav anand so you can remember it this way v pranav was from tamil nadu and pranav anand is from karnataka okay more details on the screen let us proceed to the next question the next question is which team has won durand cup 2022 the options are on the screen and the time begins now durand cup it is a football tournament so uh, which team has won it is it goa fc Chennai FC, Bengaluru FC or Mumbai City FC? The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Bengaluru FC. The Bengaluru FC uh, whose captain is world-class player Sunil Chetri from India. He has uh, the team Bengaluru FC has won this Durand Cup 2022 and it has beaten Mumbai City FC in the finals okay and to uh, make you remember the durand cup was uh, this year's durand cup was 131st edition and the final match was played in vivekananda yuba bharati uh, stadium krirangan uh, in kolkata so in the next slide you will see the name of some important persons which were in news in this third week of september 2022 which can be important from examination point of view so important persons in news 
सेप्टेम्बर थर्ड वीक You'll get all this in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question: Which state or union territory have become India's first Swachh Sujal Pradesh? The options are on the screen, and the time begins now. India's first Swachh Sujal Pradesh. Which state or union territory? Jammu Kashmir, Dabhan and Diu, Andhra Pradesh, Nicobar, or Madhya Pradesh? The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Andaman and Nicobar Island. Okay, so this important island is India's first Swachh Sujal Pradesh. So in the next slide, you will be shown the name of some important places which were in news in the third week of September 2022. So let us have a look. Important places in news. countries in news so you'll get all this in the pdf let us proceed to the next question what is the new name of dolatabad fort in maharashtra the new name of dolatabad fort the options are on the screen and your time has already begun is it shivgiri is it vishnugiri is it udaygiri or is it devgiri new name of Dolatabad Fort in Maharashtra. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Devgiri. Yes, Maharashtra Tourism Ministry has decided to rename Dolatabad Fort to Devgiri, which is located near Aurangabad. Okay, so let us proceed to the next question. I hope you have written the correct answer. The next question: Which state have launched a web facility called CM the Hesi, which means to inform the CM? The options are on the screen. And your time begins now. CM the Hesi, and it means to inform the CM which state has launched this facility: Meghalaya, Manipur, Nagaland, or Assam. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Manipur. Yes, Manipur's chief minister, who happens to be N. Biren Singh, at Imphal, the capital of Manipur, have launched this facility called CM the Hesi, which means to inform the CM. Okay. And uh, this is done so that the public can address their complaints uh, there by visiting this website. Okay, so this is it. It's a complaint addressal website. So the next question, the next question is the rotational presidency of Shanghai Cooperation Organization. It has been handed over to which country in Samarkand, Uzbekistan? The options are on the screen, and the time begins now. Shanghai Cooperation Organization, popularly known as SCO, and the presidency. Uh, has been handed over to which country the time is over the correct answer to this question is our own india yes india will be uh, presiding the shanghai cooperation organization the rotational presidency has been given to india okay so this is it more details on the screen so in the next slide uh, we will discuss some important news which are important from examination point of view for the third week of september so important news The first news is Dharmendra Pradhan have launched Ramakrishna Missions Awakening Program. Okay, so Ramakrishna Missions Awakening Program it is for the students of class one to class five, and uh, who have launched it. It has been launched by Dharmendra Pradhan. Uh, it was uh, launched in the presence of the Secretary of Ramakrishna Mission Swami Santhat Mananda. and also the chairperson of cbse who is shrimati nidhi chebber okay more details on the screen now let's proceed to the next news the next important news is indian air force project chita that is indian defense companies to equip israeli heron drones so the name of project which is project chita and uh, as per this project indian defense company will equip 
uh, Israeli Heron drones. Okay, more details on the screen. Let us proceed to the next news. The next news is Union Minister Dr. Tetendra Singh presents Inspire Awards to 60 Startups. Okay, Inspire Awards. Uh, the name of this award is Manak, which is Million Mind Augmenting National Aspiration and uh, knowledge okay this was the name of the competition and this award was presented by dr jitendra singh who is union minister of science and technology okay more details on the screen the next news is indian air force is set to retire abhinandan's miz 21 squadron so abhinandan's miz 21 uh, squadron uh, it is set to retire okay so this is it the more details on the screen the next news is based on cricket which is very important new cricket rules and icc has changed the playing conditions okay so here you can see that the host of changes have been announced by icc to the playing conditions which will come into effect on uh, october 1st 2022 onwards the men's cricket committee it was led by former indian captain saurabh ganguly recommended change to the playing conditions of mcc's updated third edition of 2017 courts of laws of cricket and uh, the main changes will be uh, as you can see on the screen batters returning when caught this will be one important change and uh, use of saliva to polish the ball incoming batter ready to face the ball strikers right to play the ball unfair movement by the fielding slide running out of the non-striker bowler throwing towards strikers and before delivery so on all these spheres uh, the new changes has been applied now the news are over let us proceed to our quiz questions PM Modi launched world's first cheetah rehabilitation project in which park? This question we have already discussed previously also just now. The options are on the screen and your time begins now. Is it Kuno National Park, Dudhwa National Park, Nagarhol National Park or Satpura National Park? I think you guys can answer it because we have just discussed it a few questions before. The correct answer to this question is Kuno National Park. It's in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. So this is it. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question is which Indian scientist and the industrialist has been conferred with France's highest civilian honor? Is it Arti Prabhakar, Swati Peramal, Nita Ambani or Falguni Nair? The time has already begun. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Swati Piramal. Okay, Swati Piramal, who is a vice chairperson of the Piramal Group, she has been conferred with the Chevalier de la Legion d'Honneur, which is the Knights of the Legion of Honor, which is France's highest civilian award. Okay, it has been given to Swati Piramal. The next question What is the name of the YouTube and Doordarshan series launched by US Aid and UNICEF? Okay, YouTube and Doordarshan series. The options are on the screen. And your time begins now. Is it Dil Se Namaste? Is it Man Se Namaste? Is it India Ka Dil? Or is it Dur Se Namaste? US Aid and UNICEF's series. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Dur Se Namaste. Okay, so it's a YouTube and Dur Darshan series launched by US Aid and UNICEF. Okay. So this is it. Let's proceed to the next question. Which government is said to introduce no back day in schools? Okay, it's a pretty simple question. No back day in school. Your time begins now. Is it Bihar government? Is it Sikkim government? Is it Andhra Pradesh government? Or is it Kerala government? No back day. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Bihar government. Okay, Bihar government is set to introduce no bag day. Okay, this will be once in a week, and this is done so that then student can uh, come only with their lunch boxes. Okay, they do not need to carry their books, and this day will be devoted to practical and experimental learning. So quite a move by the Bihar government. So this is it. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question is. Which country has beaten Nepal to clinch maiden title of SAFF Women's Championship 2022? In question number one, we discussed men's championship and now this is women's championship. Okay, the options are on the screen and your time begins now. So men's championship, it was won by India and women's championship of SAFF Women's uh, championship final 2022 has been won by which the time is over the correct answer to this question is bangladesh yes bangladesh has won a historic victory at saff women's championship to lift the maiden title which means the first title and it was at dasara tharangasala stadium in Kathmandu, nepal okay more details on the screen let us proceed to the next question 
So the next question, which company is India's most valuable brand in 2022, according to a report by market data and analytics firm Kantar? The options are on the screen and your time begins now. Is it HDFC Bank? Is it SBI? Is it TCS or is it Wipro? India's most valuable brand in 2022. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is TCS. Yes, TCS, which is Tata Consultancy Services, is India's most valuable brand as per this analytics and data firm, Kantar. More details on the screen. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question is, what is the theme of International Day of Peace on 21st September 2022? The options are on the screen and time begins now. International Day of Peace on 21st September 2022. What is its theme for this year the time is over the correct answer to this question is and racism built peace okay and racism built peace i had also posted this in community post in sss Kim. so most of you have written the correct answer so this is it i hope you have written the correct answer here as well so let us proceed to the next question the next question is india's first moto gp will be held in which city in 2023 New Delhi, Noida, Nagpur, or Ahmedabad. Your time begins now. India's first MotoGP in 2023 in which city? The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Noida. Okay, Noida will be holding India's first MotoGP. So, more details on the screen and PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. Who have launched We Care Community Policy Initiative? Okay, We Care Community Policy Initiative. Your time begins now. The options are on the screen. VK Saxena, Ganga Prasad, Jagdish Mukhi, or Jagdish Dhankar. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is VK Saxena, who is the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi. He have inaugurated We Care, which is a community policy initiative at Delhi. Okay. Ganga Prasad is the governor of Sikkim. Jagdish Mukhi is governor of Assam. Jagdeep Dhankar was the governor of West Bengal and now he is the vice president of India. So this is it. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question is, what is the name of the application introduced by Dharmendra Pradhan to advance leather industry skills? The options are on the screen and time begins now. Is it skill? Is it protractor? Is it compass? Or is it ruler? The name of the app introduced by Dharmendra Pradhan to advance leather industry skills. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is skill. The full form of skill is skill certification assessment for leather employees. Okay. So this app has been introduced to advance leather industry skills. More details on the screen. Next question. Who have won Chennai Open 2022 title? Chennai Open 2022. It's a tennis tournament. The options are on the screen and the time begins now. Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal, Linda Furvetova, or Iga Swiatek. Chennai Open. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Linda Furvetova, who is a 17 year old person from Czech Republic. So, uh, Linda Furvetova have won Chennai Open 2022 title. The next question Which state's legislative council have passed the right to freedom of religion bill? Okay, right to freedom of religion bill. The options are on the screen and the time begins now. West Bengal, Himachal Pradesh, Karnataka or Rajasthan. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Karnataka. Next question. The next question is NCPCR, which is National Commission for Protection of Child Rights. It have revamped which portal recently? The options are on the screen and the time begins now. Is it E Sakhanidan? Is it E Bujurg? Is it E Yuva Nidan? Or is it E Bal Nidan? The time is over. The correct answer to this question is E Bal Nidan. As I have said, National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, which is related to children. So it's very obvious that E Bal Nidan is the correct answer. So this is it. Let us proceed to the next question. Which country will hold the BRICS chairmanship of 2023? The options are on the screen and your time begins now. BRICS chairmanship of 2023. BRICS, which is Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. It's a group of five countries. 
who will hold 2023 chairmanship the correct answer to this question is south africa okay south africa will be holding BRICS chairmanship in 2023 and it will also hold its 15th summit the more details on the screen and in the pdf let us proceed to the second last question the second last question is astana has been announced as the new capital of which country uzbekistan tajikistan kazakhstan or turkmenistan your time begins now astana it's the new capital of which country well the time is over the correct answer to this question is kazakhstan okay kazakhstan parliament have decided to rename the country's capital from noor sultan to astana okay so this is it let us proceed to the last question of the quiz which is which naval ship was decommissioned on september 19 2022 by indian navy after 32 years of service the options are on the screen and your time begins now is it INS Aze, P-34, INS Kukri, INS Kirch or INS Khanzar? Decommissioned after 32 years of service. So the time is over. The correct answer to this question is INS Aze, P-34. It was decommissioned after 32 years of glorious service. More details on the screen. So with this, we complete all 30 questions of today's quiz. I hope you have written the correct answer to all the questions. Please write your scores in the comment box or in the chat box so in the next slide you will be shown some homework questions which you need to answer the first question is which film has been announced as india's official entry to the oscars the options are on the screen so the next question is which country's presidency of asia pacific institute of broadcasting development has been extended for one more year options are on the screen the next question is roger federer have announced retirement from tennis on september 15 2022 how many grand slams the tennis star has won the options are on the screen the next question is the first trilateral foreign ministers meeting between india france and the uae was held in which country the options are on the screen and the last homework question which is which country will host women asia cup 2022 the options are on the screen so please write the answers in the comment box if you know it right now or even if you don't know it just search the answers to these questions and you can later come to the comment box of this video to write the answers so this is it do write the answers so in the next slide let us discuss some bonus questions which can be important from examination point of view we have 27 bonus questions so please have a look at these bonus questions as well bonus questions
so these were the bonus questions if you want the pdf of this session there are pretty simple steps you need to follow click on the link in the description box pay to piece 30 via any payment method and after the payment wait for the pdf in the google drive link to open automatically and do not press the back button in that process and save the pdf in your device else the pdf will be lost so in this way you can get the pdf of this session and to get the pdf of all the sessions which will cost you rupees 400 and in which you will get all state national international current affairs and what do you get in rupees 400 you get past 10 months sikkim current affairs past six months national international current affairs sikkim current affairs 175 plus mcqs uh, past year sikkim gk sort of 10 previous papers and all for the current affairs sessions and important topics pdf and telegram for the next six months all this at the meager cost of rupees 400 and for this do send a message in the whatsapp